Jenny. Ricardia, the teacher is here. Ricardia in progress. <laughs> <laughs> I know what he came is. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? What uh, is your white yeah, shirt? T-shirt, shirt. What? It's white? Yes, it is. Yes. Oh. Don't you see that I look like I look like an angel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Yeah. Yes, teacher. I I I love your look, girls. <laughs> Thank you. Administration nice match. Nice match. Administration group. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so how how are you feeling today? We start a new week. We are. Uh, a little relaxed, let's say, from the weekend, and ready to to finish this this module as well. So, what's new? Um, uh, today and yesterday we were practicing how to pronounce some number because uh, okay. in the uh, how can I say? In the PDF that we are learning, there are some numbers that some people couldn't read, but now we are ready. Okay. Nice. So, uh, okay, just to catch up a little bit with the uh, weekend activities. So let me just share with you three things, okay, that I did on my weekend, okay? And then we go one by one. So three things that I did on my weekend. Number one, on Saturday, I had a meeting at a university, at a private university, to talk about a job opportunity there. Uh, then in the evening, I had a, let's say, we we call it a grupo de crecimiento, right? It's like a, a little, well, it's, a, it's a group that we have for reading, uh, well, reading the Bible, reading about God, and uh, learning new things. So it's Can like, you read uh, huh? Can you read the Bible? Yep. Don't burn in your hands. What? No, it doesn't burn. It doesn't burn my hands. <laughs> and then uh, yesterday, I had a busy morning because I was doing a lot of housework. Um, so, but. It was good because in the afternoon I could go out with some friends to a really nice place. So those are my three most important activities on the weekend, let's say. Now, let's go with the next volunteer. Edma, thank you. <laughs> Hi, Chef. I, I, I have, I, I have a, a week short. Because... A short weekend. A short weekend because I so much work in my house. I I we study with my son for a test, and I see I see uh, my new friends mm -hmm. on Saturday and on Monday. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, yesterday. I stay home. I do, I do the laundry. I do food, and I in the afternoon I watch the the videos. I listen to music, and then and now I uh, study English with my classmate teacher. So. All right. Thank you so much for sharing. Class for her, please. Excellent. Okay, it's something, uh, I mean, just sharing a little bit about what you did on the weekend, it's something simple, but really useful, right? Because normally when you have a conversation with someone, you talk about the past, right? Like uh, about your life, about your activities, et cetera, et cetera. So it's one of the topics that we normally talk or we talk about or having conversations. Next one, uh, uh, volunteer, please raise your hand. Hey, teacher. Okay, Jose Luis, thank you. Okay, teacher. Uh, yesterday, 
I do my homework and now I study English, grammar, uh, for example, modal verbs, uh, connection, quantifier, only grammar. Nice. And, and I reading, writing, and listening. Uh, uh, I play video games a little and I take a shower and right now uh, I wait for my dinner. Took a shower. You took a shower and you're getting ready for your dinner. Okay. Yes. Uh, you, are, you are a busy man. Uh, who's next? Thank you so much. Uh, some reactions for Jose Luis, please. What teacher? Next volunteer is Brandy. Okay. This is Aura. Mine was reaction. Okay, in my case, uh, we went on Saturday, we ate with my friends. As you can see, we have the same, I don't know how you call this, but this is what we have on the head. And let me see. Sunday, we've been practicing too uh, while I was working because you know that I have a store, a grocery store. So I was working and we, at the same time we were practicing um, like today, we were practicing to how to read some numbers, um, how to use, so can I, um, and, and third person too, and that's it, I think, that's all, we just practice and practice and try to be, try to do the best. <laughs> well, that is something priceless, so excellent. Congratulations, ladies. Keep working, keep working. Uh, the, the more you practice, the faster you will you will uh, learn and the faster you will know how to use the language, right, in an easy and natural way. So that's what I did. I used to go to class every day with my classmates, but during the breaks, after classes, before classes, I used to practice with my classmates. So that helped me a lot. That helped me a lot to get fluency, to get vocabulary, to improve my pronunciation, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, next volunteer, Isaura. I think she's not ready right now. How, many, day, tip, how many hours a day do you work, teacher? I am eating now. I work from seven until five, thirty, more or less. <laughs> All day long. Yeah, all day. Mm -hmm. But just English, or you teach something else? No, just English. Just English. Wow. Right. Yeah. Uh, so let's go on with the next one. Uh, Evelyn. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Share a little bit with us, please. Uh, eh, vamos a hablar acerca de vamos a hacer el fin de semana. Just three things, three things that you did on the weekend, okay? Uh, okay. Um, well, uh, I, I don't plan plans in, in, in my weekend. I don't know. Uh, maybe... Maybe um uh como sería estar en casa estar stay home be, be home stay eh, home, be home yeah. stay home yeah. eh, with mom eh, maybe eh, will uh eh, will um visit um uh, I don't know, it's a, uh, um, <laughs> no sé. <laughs> es que, ajá, no tengo planes realmente. Quiero ver, uh, no, no sé. No, no. Lo que hiciste. 
Ah, lo que hice. Yeah, uh, but you did. <laughs> okay. Este. Uh, um, I working. I, I worked. Was uh, working all okay, all my uh, weekend and and, and I, I don't I don't plan. I, I don't. So yeah. And ninguno, someone. So, okay. Nobody. What do you want to say? What do you want to say? What's your idea? Uh, uh, un plan is, uh, uh, I study in my home. Okay, you stay home. Okay, you stay home. So you didn't you didn't do anything different because you didn't have a plan. Let's say that's what you're trying to say. All right, uh, Jenny. Thank you so much, Evelyn. Appreciate it. Uh, good evening. I went to go to uh, a party with my son and my you friend. Uh -huh. You went to a party with your son and? Uh, with my friend, my best friend. All right. That was the most important for Jenny. Thank you for sharing. Norma Lisano. And on Saturday, I was studying in my house. What do you want to say? ¿Qué quiere decir? What do you want to say? Que estuve ordenando la casa. Okay, okay. I was tidying. Uh -huh. I was tidying my house, uh -huh. yes. Oh, my house and practice English with my friend. Okay. And Sunday, I had a visit from my sister. And we have a great time. And today, listen music in English and practice in English. Nice. Okay, so that's it. Just like that, right? You just need to share a little bit of what you did and um, and try to say in a normal way, right? Don't don't get too nervous. Um, I don't know who's next, Leslie. Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening. Okay, a ver, este, I, I was, it's correct, ¿verdad? I was in my house. I, no, yo estuve en mi casa. Yeah, I was in my house, in my house. Yes. Okay. Um, I watch TV series. TV and series? I work, I work, I am, I'm work in um sat sat order. <laughs> I worked on Saturday, yes. And como podrá decir estuve descansando. I was resting. I was resting. I was resting. Resting. Uh, I yeah. was resting a little o oh, un poco, descanse un poco. <laughs> I rested a little. Okay. Only that. Only that. All right. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh, some class for her too, please. Then we continue with the next one. Um, let's see. Who's missing? Who's missing? Isaura, are you ready now? Yes, teacher. <clears throat> okay. Go ahead, please. Why? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, you got to clear your throat. Uh -huh. well, <clears> throat> On Saturday, I went to the restaurant Imperio Celeste with my friends Edma and Brandy. Then mm -hmm. I I went to the house of M Edma and ate ice cream. And Sunday, I went to visit my parents and then I ate so <laughs> okay and then i play with my children only that all right 
Yes. You had a nice weekend. Thank you for sharing. Yes. Okay, reactions for her, please. And uh, we'll continue with Melvin. We're missing Melvin, Nubia. I'm not sure if Oscar and Nelson can, can use the microphone today. And we're missing Sylvia. Okay, go ahead. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Okay, um, on Saturday, I had in the morning, I work. I worked. I worked. Uh -huh. Yes, and the afternoon I went to the cinema. Yes, nice. and yes, and Sunday I rest in my home, watching movies all the day. All right, excellent. Uh, which can you mention one movie that you watched? Yes, Guardian of the Galaxy. Oh, the num the the third. The third, yes. Okay, don't spoil it, please. Don't tell me anything about the movie. <laughs> okay, but it's a good movie. Who do you like? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Maybe, maybe I will watch it on on Wednesday on on Mother's Day. <laughs> okay, it's a good movie. Yeah, I know, it's excellent. Okay, uh, thank you so much. Some reactions for Melvin, please. And the next one uh, is gonna be. See Jose see Luis this. Castro want to participate. Say. No, Jose Luis already participated. He already ah. shared the information with with us. Yes. Ah. So Silvia, I don't know if you can use the microphone, or Nubia. Um, hi, Hello. teacher. Good evening. Uh -huh. I I was uh, sleeping because I'm very very tired. Okay. Uh, I was uh watch TV series. TV series, nice. Okay. For example, can you mention one TV series that you're watching? Uh, The Mandalorian. The Mandalorian. Okay, okay, you're starting. Yes. Got it. Um, all right, so. It's writing in the in the chat. I think it's Nelson. I'm not sure. Remember that if you can use the microphone, you use the chat, right? Uh, in this case, Nelson said that on Saturday I went. Remember that it's in the past. I went to the church and I did the platform exercises. Nice, ah, excellent. And you and he was in at home, right? So um, then we continue with uh, check. Nubia, Nubia or Susana, can you share two or three things that you did on the weekend quickly before we move on? Okay, I'm not sure if they can do it, but if... Okay, wait a second. Uh, teacher, somebody who's called Hercules or something takes on the group. He wrote in the chat, right? Yeah. What did he say? That he can come here because of the scene. Oh, because of some problems. Uh, okay. Yeah. Thank it's you for telling me that. Um, I had a woman who texted me. Giselle, maybe? Yancy. Yancy. I don't know. What, Yancy? She texted me and said that she has some problem with the Wi-Fi or something like that. Okay, okay, Jancy, got it. Ah, but here, Jancy, are you here? Yes. Ah, okay, she's Pero here. me sigue fallando, por eso estoy un poco oh. callada. Ah, okay. Pero sí, eh, I, was, I was taking care of my children, cleaning my house, helping my kids with my with homework and watching TV with my children. With your children, okay. Got it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for sharing some class for, for Jancy, please. Thank you, appreciate it. Remember that the, here the most important is that we try to practice, okay? Even if we have some difficulties, we participate, we uh, connect, right? Uh, in this case, last weekend, Oscar, Oscar is sharing in the chat that he was working a lot because they have a new project and also he was watching Netflix. Okay. Um, yeah, 
Uh, well, I'm last weekend, okay. Uh, no, actually, you know, uh, in this uh, case, Brandy, um, because we have a new project, it's okay because he's focused on the There's present. Like they still have, they still have the have a new project. Um, oh. So yes, excellent. Thank you so much. We're going to move on, and in the chat, I'm going to share with you a link, okay, that I need you to open to work. This is a little trivia quiz or style, let's say, using comparatives and superlatives. So what you're going to do is to go to the breaker rooms. One of you can share the screen, right? And you discuss what the correct answer is. For example, for example, I'm going to open it for you and share it on the, on the screen. For example, wait a second. Uh, Okay, here it is. Okay, the connection is a little slow again. Can I help you? If it doesn't work right now, yes, I will ask you to help me out. But let's see. Let's okay. give it the, the benefit of the doubt. Okay? <laughs> it's the same as in Spanish. Give the benefit of the doubt. That will benefit la duda. So I don't know if you can see it on the screen. Uh, it's, it's loading right now. No, but you froze. Wait, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading. Wait. Be patient, be patient. And you will have a longer life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, can you see it? I couldn't bore with this patient. I know, but it's necessary to work on that. Okay, so uh, what you're going to do is to complete the, the questions, okay, with the correct comparative or superlative, okay? In this case, complete the sentences using and changing the word in brackets or parentheses, let's say, in this case, in American English, then ask the other group the answers to these questions okay are below so you will see the answers at the bottom okay you will see the answers at the bottom now let's check this is a uh, comparative superlative you got the same over here so for example which animal is you have aggressive in parentheses what is the correct comparative form more, more aggressive more Aggressive. aggressive. Which animal is more aggressive? A hippo or a rhino? Mm -hmm. What do you rhino. think? Rhino. Rhino. You can say rhino, uh, rhino is rhino. more is more aggressive, aggressive than, than, than a hippo. A hippo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. I think the, the hip, hippopotamus is more aggressive than the rhinoceros. Mm -hmm. But later you will be able to check. Okay, so that's what you're going to do. Okay, in the breakout rooms, you open the link that I right now you open the link, and one of you is going to share okay the screen to uh, complete the question and the answers. Give the answer that you think is correct. Okay, the answer can be incorrect, but you need to use the correct structure. Okay, aunque la respuesta no sea la correcta, pero la estructura tiene que ser la correcta. Okay, so that is the most important right now. Later, we can discuss, right? You can investigate on Google, okay? For example, which animal is more aggressive? And then you will discover the real information. But right now, the most important is that you practice the comparatives and superlatives. Okay, remember comparatives to superlatives Three or more. Okay. Um, so we're going to the breakout rooms in groups of three, maximum four. And you share the, the screen to discuss and complete the exercise. Okay. Let's see. We're going to have five groups. I think two people cannot use the, the, the microphone. So we're just going to create four groups. 
Okay, so in the group number one, we're going to have Jancy, Jose Luis, Nelson, and Sylvia. Group number two, we have Leslie, Norma, Oscar, and Susanna. And group number three, we have Brandy, Evelyn, uh, Nubia, and Jenny. And the group number four, we have uh, Edna, Isaura, Melvin, and Norma. Okay, give me a second. I, I will see if there is a group that has two people who cannot participate. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I'm going to move one person here. And the two normas are going to be together. So we're ready to go. All right, so we have the groups almost complete. Uh, yeah, we got them all. All right, ready for this exercise? You're going to have approximately seven minutes, okay, to eight minutes. If you don't finish all the questions, don't worry, you can finish them later. Uh, the most important right now is that you discuss some of the questions, you, you start typing them and you get some of the answers. Okay, ready, set, and go. Okay, as an invitation to join the breakout room, please. Jose Luis, are you there? Oh, what happened, Jenny? Jose Luis, did you get the invitation? No? Hello, hello? Hello, teacher, me salí sin querer. ¿Me puede meter, por favor, ah, en el grupo okay, número okay, dos? Okay. Sorry, no teacher. I have bad connection right now. Oh, Johnny. Oh, okay, okay, got it. Let me move you to another breaker room then. Jenny in the breaker room number three. One, two, three, four. Okay, there are four people here and I will move Edna to another one. Tiche, me sacó del, del grupo que estaba. Yes, because um, we need a, an extra element in this group. <laughs> okay. 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 Entonces, estábamos en la. Tiche, you can share the screen. You can share the screen. Pueden compartir la pantalla si gustan para ir compartiendo. Completando los, los ejercicios. Yo solo que yo no puedo compartir aquí. Quiero ver. Let me know if you have any inconvenience. I can help you. Sí, yo no puedo compartir la pantalla y usted, no? Jancy. No, como me está dando problemas mi internet.
Okay, okay my I, I will help you out. Don't worry. I share the screen and okay. you tell me the the you dictate to me. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Which country is bigger? Is more bigger. Bigger, bigger. no. Yes. Bigger. More bigger than. No. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Spain or England. Or Sería. Cualquiera le vamos a poner, yo no sé, English. English. I don't know. What do you think, Jesse? Sería England. England or, or Spain? England. England. England is. 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 Bigger, bigger than is Spain. Than no. Spain. Spain. Okay. Number three. What, what animal is smaller? Sim similar. Similar. Mm. It's more similar. More similar. More similar. More similar to a human being. Mm. <laughs> I no sé. Uh, <laughs> An animal that El looks mono. similar. No. In English, el mono the is lion, English. The lion, the monkey. The monkey, the monkey, monkey, the monkey. Okay. The monkey is more monkey. Is similar. Monkey is similar than human. The monkey. I know you know you more. More, ah, okay. more similar, similar than a uh, human. Uh, okay. To okay. Next, number four. What okay. is the where is the uh where is the longer? Do you think that it's comparative or superlative? The longest. The longest. The long. Uh -huh. What is the longest? The longest. El, el río más largo, uh -huh. right? the longest river in Europe. in Europe. What is the longest river in Europe? Uh, uh -huh. That's a difficult one. Uh, later, you, know, you can Google yes. it. You can Google it later. Okay. Uh, Number five. <laughs> okay. Number five. What planet is smaller? What planet? A smaller. It's smaller. Earth or Mercury? It's smaller. <laughs> Earth it's or Mercury? Mercury. Uh, Mercury. <laughs> you, 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 who is the rich? Okay. Who is the more rich? More rich? Comparative or superlative? In demand on air. Is compared? Or superlative? No, we're not comparing anybody. Mm -hmm. When we compare, we have two options, but in this okay. case, we don't have two options. Pero dice hombre sí, en la tierra. El hombre uh, más rico en la tierra. Entonces, the, the bigger. ¿Cómo es? The most rich. Es most, most rich. Así, ¿verdad? The most rich. Mm. ¿El más rico? No. No. Oh, The richest. Ah, uh, the richest. Ah, <laughs> uh, remember the that richest. we have EST. EST for ESD. the short adjective. For the long adjective, the most. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then okay. Google, right? <laughs> Number seven. Elon Musk. <laughs> Elon Musk is not the richest man. No. There. No. no, it's the second or third, okay. I think. Second. Uh -huh. Which. Uh, number is seven. Difficult to see. A penguin flying um, more, or a monkey swimming? Yeah. Um, it's comparative. More mm -hmm. difficult. More, more difficult. difficult, correct. To see a penguin flying or a monkey swimming? A penguin. A penguin flying? No. 
Okay, a penguin no. flying. A penguin flying. Yeah, number eight. What's eight. the? The big, the bigger. And uh, the most big. ¿Cómo es ahí, teacher? Es que viera que a mí sí me cuesta. Biggest. Remember, big. Biggest. Bigger. Biggest. Biggest. Le pone biggest. la S. The biggest. Biggest. Biggest country in the world. El, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay. Which country? Which country is? Which country is? Russia. So, <laughs> okay, we say Russia here. Okay. Russia. Which country is? Comparative, right? Because we have Congo or Canada. Um, uh, sunnier. Sunnier. Más soleado. Sunnier. Okay. Congo or Canada? What do you think? Con Con Canada? Congo. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Is sunnier? Is sunnier. Then, then Canada. Canada. Okay. Yes. Number 10. Is most near. Near. Yeah, le va a agregar ahí, teacher. Al, al near. Or, uh, comparative or superlative? Superlative. Because we have South Africa or Australia? Um, comparative. It's comparative. Okay. okay. So we say okay near neater near which country is neater to neater south to the south pole south africa or australia cuál está más cerca al polo sur australia australia okay is nearer to the south, right? South Pole, Polo, Polo Sur, South Pole. Okay, so uh, because of time, we're going to finish here. Uh, we're going to check, um, well, actually, uh, just to check my answers. Wait a second. I, well, we need to investigate, right? The river and everything. Sí, so, que nos because falta. of time, we're going to, what? Well, nos falta there are more por questions, si no yeah, there are more questions. <laughs> there are sí. more questions, so we need to continue practicing with the same link, okay? okay. So, because okay. of time, we're going back to the session. Thank you for sharing, ladies. Okay, everybody's coming back, so let's just wait for the rest. Okay, so we're going to move on. The majority of you are here. In the meantime, I'm going to share the next uh, lesson. That is, I'm going to a soccer match. Okay, so um, this is basically, uh, the beginning is just making excuses, right? Making excuses, inventing excuses, right? When you don't want to do something, when you don't want to go to a place, when you don't want to go out with someone in particular, right? Uh, you make excuses. Now, what are some common excuses in English for not accepting an invitation? Listen and repeat. I can't. My parents are visiting from out of town. 
I can make my parents out of town. Out of out of town. Out of town. Out of town. Yes. Out of town. All right. I'm busy right that night. I'm busy that night. I'm busy that night. It's like, for example, hey, can we go to the movies uh, next month uh, on Wednesday, the second? Wednesday no, night, I'm busy right? the that night. I I'm sorry. I'm busy that night. What? How is that possible that you are busy on uh, in three weeks? <laughs> okay, um, it's an excuse. Okay, I'm sorry, I can't find a babysitter. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't find, find a babysitter. Baby baby yeah. Okay, that's when you have a child, right? A baby. I'm not I'm feeling well. I'm not, I'm feeling, not well. feeling well. I'm feeling well. Mm -hmm. I have to work. I have, I have to, to work. work. For me, that's something common. <laughs> I have to work. Um, I just got a new puppy. I have to stay, uh, stay home with it. I just got a new puppy. I have to stay home with it. With it. With it. Right, with that's it. a good one. I have class that night. I have, I have, class, I have class that night. night. You can use that excuse, right? <laughs> hey, let's go to the party tomorrow. I'm sorry, I have class at night. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. say at night. Uh, okay. uh, don't worry, after class. No, I have homework. Sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, after homework. Um, no, I have to study for the test. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> so uh, my favorite TV show is on that night. My, my favorite, favorite TV, TV show, show is on, on that, that night. night. That night. I have to get up early the next morning. I have to get up early the next morning. Okay. Uh, for me, that is a new excuse. Uh, because now I have to get up earlier than usual. So, yeah, now I have to think twice to go out at night. But that's life. Okay. <laughs> now, question. Have you ever used any of these excuses? Please raise your hand, be honest, if you have used any of these excuses, okay? Raise your hand, raise your hand, don't forget. Okay, so, yeah, you have to be honest, like, yeah, teacher, I have, I have used those excuses. Okay, more, so, more than one. Um, what, sorry? More, more than one, I said. More than once, okay. <laughs> okay, so just Brandy. Solo Brandy ha utilizado alguna de esas excusas. Hmm. I don't think so. I don't think so. Me? Yeah, NC2. Okay. okay. Um, both say it that night. I'm busy that night. Busy, no pussy. Okay, okay, busy. Yeah, busy. So, can you please write in the chat what is the most common excuse that you have used? Okay, to refuse an invitation? What is the most common excuse that you have used? In my case, uh, I'm sorry, but I have to work. Okay. Yeah. So for that's me, a that's the number one. That's a my good number excuse. One. Okay. Um, imagine this. Look at the picture. I'm sorry. I have to wash my hair that night. Okay. That's the reason. He lo tiene bien corto. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, which are good excuses and which are bad excuses? Okay, let's go to the examples and let's place a check. Which one do you consider is a good excuse here? I'm not feeling well, yes. I have, I have to, to work. work. Uh -huh, it's a good excuse. Another that is, another one that is a good excuse. I have, I have class, class that night. Class that night. I have class that night. Yes. In my case, I'm sorry. I can find a babysitter. <laughs> okay. It's, it's, yeah. If you have children, it's yes. It's understandable. I have 
to get up. I have to early. get up early the early next morning. The next morning. Uh -huh. Yes. You know yeah. which is a good one to teacher? Which is a good one? Uh huh. I'm running of money. Like I don't have money. I don't know if it is okay. I'm running out of money. It can be an excuse with your friends. But imagine if it is one gentleman who is inviting you to go to to have dinner. Well, it depends. If I like it, I can say yes, we can go. If I don't like it, <laughs> oh no, I have something I'm, to do. Okay. I Sorry can't. My parents you. are <laughs> my parents are visiting. That can be a, a good uh excuse too. Okay. Now, the rest are not so good, right? I'm uh, not so good. I'm busy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not so much. Okay, in the chat, I have class that night, says Edna. I'm sorry, but my wife hit me if I go out <laughs> with you guys. <laughs> my wife hits me, right? Okay. Uh, I'm not feeling well, says. I'm busy, says Isaura. Okay. Oscar is very honest. Okay. I feel sick. Nubia, thank you for the example. Okay. Um, it just, I'm feeling sick. I'm feeling sick. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we move on. And the next question. What other excuses can you make for not accepting an invitation? What other excuses? For example, if somebody tell me, hey, uh, Freddie, let's go and watch the, the exorcist, uh, the, uh, the exorcism of Emily Rose. I'm like, mm, I'm sorry, but I don't like scary movies. I don't like horror movies. Me too. Ah, so I mean, do I. <laughs> uh, so do I, okay. Uh, or, <laughs> well, in this case, it's negative. Ah. Neither, neither do I, sorry, sorry, sorry. Neither do I, uh -huh. or uh, do I. I don't either, me neither. I don't either. Okay, yeah, excellent. So uh, in this case, another excuse that you can invent or you can say, for example. For women, when somebody invites to the uh, beach, for example, oh uh, no, I'm on, on my days. <laughs> I'm on my days, okay. I have visits. I think. Um, <laughs> In my case, I would probably say like, uh, for example, uh, if it is on the weekend, I can say, oh, sorry, I have to teach or I have a class that day. Um, maybe that, or I'm too tired. Sorry, I, I don't want to go. I want to, I need to rest. Yeah, for teachers, it's, it's a normal excuse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, so let's continue. Okay, for not accepting an invitation, right? When you say, when somebody tells you, hey, let's do this. I'm sorry, I don't like, so let's go to the stadium. I'm sorry, I don't like, I don't like soccer. I don't like sports. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can say that you don't like something. Now, we're going to move on with the conversation between Miguel and Len. So listen. And practice. Say, Miguel, say, say, sorry, it's like an expression to say hi, right? Hey, say, Miguel, uh, hi. what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? Do you want to go bowling? Do you want to? You can say, do you want to go bowling? Um, I love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing uh, anything tomorrow? We could go then. I'm going. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Do you think that Lynn has interest on going on, on accepting the invitation from Yo? Not really. I think so. Because she proposes to have dinner. Maybe. So, yeah, she's interested, Let's right? around six. Mm -hmm. Now, let's practice, okay? Take a screenshot, please. Take a screenshot so that you can go to the breaker rooms and practice the conversation. 
Okay, I'm going to repeat the conversation quickly. Uh, Brandy, you can be Lynn, I will be Miguel, so go ahead. I will be Lynn. In this case, let's, let's personalize the conversation so we can use our names, right? Freddie and Brandy, uh-huh. Uh, uh, say Freddie, what are you doing tonight? Um, do you want to go to the bowling? Do you want to go bowling? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Uh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Uh, tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay, see you tomorrow. <laughs> see you tomorrow. Okay, take a shower. Now we're going <laughs> to uh, we're going to move on. And in the breakout rooms, you are going to practice the conversations in pairs. Okay, in pairs. So uh, some people are just listeners, right? But I'm going to share the screenshot. Oh, Brandy already shared that one. Okay, just in case you cannot read it so clearly, I think I took a clear shot. Let me share it with you. Okay, I got this one. All right. Or just in case, I will share another one. It's this one. Okay, here we go. So uh, we're going to be in breakout rooms, uh, seven breakout rooms. Okay, to be more specific six because some people cannot use the microphone so norma sylvia and jenny it's okay because i think sylvia has well norma callejas i think sylvia has some problems with the microphone uh edna evelyn oscar oscar has some problems with the microphone while well, he's working right he's working uh leslie nelson is working and jancy okay no problem is aura and norma lisano melvin and susana i think that she can use the microphone and Brandy with Nubia. I think Nubia has some problems with the microphone. Um, so maybe that would be a little inconvenience. A little inconvenient, sorry. Uh, okay, but let's move on, okay? Because you already practiced, so that's fine. Ready, set, and go. For this, you have just two minutes, okay, to practice the conversation using the two roles, Lynn and Miguel, then you switch. Uh, the uh, no one questions? The last one is better than you and mine, the first one. Picture. Uh, okay, okay, got it. Let's go. Bye. See ya. All right, I set the invitation to you in the breaker room, please. Norma Calleja, are you there? Accept the invitation, please, to join the breakout room. Sylvia and Norma Callejas, are you there? Uh, I think she left. Okay, I'm going to. Hello, Norma, are you there? Miss Callejas, are you there? I cannot hear, okay, your, your audio is connecting now. Norma, can you hear me? 
Hello. Hello. All right, so Jenny is here and Norma too, so we can practice together. Okay. Norma? Okay. Okay, you start the conversation, Norma, and Jenny, you continue, okay? So Norma is Lynn and Jenny is Miguel. Go ahead. Sammy. Say, Miguel. In this case, you can say, say, okay, okay. Jenny. Uh -huh, okay. Say, Jenny, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can. I'm going to. I'm. It's como, como, como que diga, wanna. Do you don't uh -huh. wanna go bowling? Do you wanna you go wanna... bowling? Mm -hmm. I'm going to bowling. Okay. 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 What are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can. I'm going to soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time? Doing anything tomorrow? Call go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around, around six. Okay, afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Sounds great. Okay. Excellent. Okay, so sounds, right? That's the pronunciation, sounds. And then sounds your word is afterward. Yeah, afterward. Afterward. Okay. Eso es lo mismo que después. Uh -huh. Yeah. The after. after. ¿Cuál la diferencia? After or afterward. This is a little more formal, okay? Afterward. Uh, okay, afterward. Um, mm -hmm. Hi, Saura. Hi, Apo. <laughs> We're back. Back, teacher. We're back, yes. All right, so... Uh, Everybody finished the conversation, okay? So we're going to stop here with the class. However, I just want you to study a little bit about what is next, okay? About grammar, we are going to be practicing the future with the present continuous and be going to. We can use the two forms, okay, to talk about plans. Um, Normally, normally we use going to, be going to, right? So for example, uh, on Wednesday, that is Mother's Day, I am going to travel to La Union, okay? To the cemetery where my grandmother is buried, okay? So that's a plan that I have with my family. Uh, after class, I am going to prepare my uniform for tomorrow. Um, so we use that, right? Uh, my nephew is going to go to sleep at 10 p.m., an example, yeah, before that. So we use the two structures, right? We can use the present continuous, for example, what are you doing tonight after class? And you can tell me, oh, teacher, I'm going to Metro Central or I'm going to a party or I'm going to sleep, right? So um, we can use I'm that. I'm going to work out. Or for example, you can say after, what are you doing after class? I'm preparing my dinner or I'm ironing my clothes or I'm doing laundry. I'm doing homework. I'm working on the platform. So you can use that. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. So that, those are examples and time expressions. For ex you can ask me, teacher, what is the difference between how can I, identify present continuous for the present continuous in the moment and the present continuous for the future is the time expressions. If right now I tell you, okay, I am taking a shower tomorrow morning. I am taking a shower tomorrow. You understand that is the future. But if I tell you, 
oh, I am uh, listening to music right now, right now. Okay, this moment. So the time expressions, time expressions can give you the idea, right? Uh, if I ask you right now, uh, hey, what series are you watching on Netflix? Wait a second. Wait. A are you proud? I can't wait, teacher. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> chop, chop. Chop, hello. chop, hurry up. Yeah. Hello, hello. Hi. Wait a we lost you, teacher. One, two, three, one, two, three. Uh... We can hear you. You can hear me now? I can yes. I can hear you. Yeah, I okay. can yeah. Perfect. So uh, so we're going to finish here, uh, guys, because of time. So have a great night, a great week. I hope to see you uh, tomorrow. Okay, don't forget to work on the platform. This is the last week. So we're finishing on Friday. And I, it's necessary, right? That you finish everything to get your certificate. That's important. So take care of yourself. Uh, if you have any doubts, don't forget to ask questions in the chat uh, through WhatsApp. And if not, just wait for tomorrow's class. Okay? It was a pleasure. Take care. Good night, teacher. Have a nice night. Sleep tight. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. 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 Which color for tomorrow, guys? Pink? Pink, yes.